we're going to turn it back. We're going to turn it back again. John, as you come up, why don't we stick with the beach for a second? What is the status of discussions now going on um, regarding um, the long-term future of the beach as you all see it? That happens to be the next topic I wanted to address. <laughs> 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 supported and stated its support of the public's use of Pavilion Beach in front of the hotel. And we've submitted a written agreement to the city attorney, which is under review, uh, dealing with uh, the process of deeding the beach in fee, simple, to the city. And in that agreement with the city, uh, which we anticipate might be incorporated into the terms of the special council permit, Oakport Gloucester agrees to execute a deed, the form of which is being reviewed by the attorney, uh, to all of the beach outside of the hotel overlay district, and to give the public beach rights in the remaining portion, so that there won't be this funny line in the middle of the beach, so that the uh, executed deed would be placed into escrow with the city, upon the hotel receiving its special permit. And the agreement would provide that the deed could be recorded by the city upon the issuance of a final certificate of occupancy for the hotel. And just to be clear, the public would continue to have the use of the Pavilion Beach as it has for beach purposes, for fiesta events. Nothing would change but the actual conveyance of the uh, deed would be assured by a condition in the permit as well as the executing the deed and giving it to the city in escrow uh, at the time of the special permit recording. My memory is the HOD extends out from the uh, existing structure 10 feet under the beach, is that correct? That's correct. Why would, <coughs> why would um, that 10 feet, uh, foot piece be excluded from the proposed uh, resolution? Well, the reason is this. Um, we're in the beginning of the permit process. So far, we don't have any permits. We've made a proposal about how we want the seawall to be built. We're going to the Conservation Commission. There are other regulatory agencies. And one or more of them may have some other thought about how it's to be done. Through this process, we have made every effort we could to keep our improvements back behind that building line. But we have a substantial investment in this parcel, a substantial investment in this permitting. And we cannot, I don't think it's re reasonable to, um, and, and feasible um, to make a commitment at this time that doesn't give us the flexibility, if we need it, of extending, and I'm not talking about hotel things, I'm talking about the kinds of things we were just discussing. Stone revetments in front of the uh, wall, which then skew the, the way the ramps need to go. So that's, that's the reason <coughs> behind our position, that we're willing to deed in fee all of that beach that's not in the HOD. Why couldn't those intrusions, if you will, be dealt with by license or easement? Well, we're going to have to finance this project. And that's where it gets hard. And that's, that's one of the things that's very important uh, to people lending substantial amounts of money to build substantial projects, that they're certain that the, the permitted <coughs> uh, improvements can be built on the land that they have a mortgage on. We've had numerous discussions about this. I understand the point, but we're in a, we're in a position where uh, we really need to maintain that op, that flexibility in case we need it uh, with regard to improvements that would move out onto the beach. 
And we have agreed that, how do you answer those who would say that those improvements going out into the beach in effect, not everyone agrees that you own the fees. And I know you know that. Um, those would be deemed trespass, in the view of some, right? Well, there, there is this, this question, and no one seems to have found the deed to the city of the beach. It is clear that in our title, there is a parcel that's in the center of that beach area that is, has historically been deeded with this parcel. And there are portions to the left and right of that which belong under the well-accepted principle of law that the upland owner owns out to the low water mark. But then there's another map that shows an old court running through the middle of the site uh, with a piece on the improved portion of the site having been abandoned by the city, but the balance not, which would imply fee from the uh, existing structure line all the way down to low water. So I would argue, at best, those maps create just confusion and a patchwork. Um, we could beat this to death all night, and every time this discussion begins, it goes on and on and on. I guess I just want to highlight for my purposes, as one of nine voting, that I'm not satisfied uh, to the extent of that 10-foot piece uh, that's in the HOD uh, not being part of the conveyance. There are ways to accommodate the things that you speak to, and, uh, and I would think it would be a matter of more optical practice. Well, we are working with the city attorney on that. When we have it in a form that's acceptable to my client and to the city, uh, we will forward it on for review. Um, th there's a lot of confusion about the beach. There's not careful conveyancing about the beach. Um, our point here is that we um, feel that we have titles to the beach, and I think the city um, hasn't been able to establish that it has title to the beach, but that nonetheless, we have been supportive of the public use and the public ownership of the beach to the degree we can do that in front of our park, so we can't handle the rest of the beach. I'm not sure I agree that that's where the burden should be placed in the first place, uh, and, and particularly because you're here, frankly, looking for something. Um, but secondly, I know we have to resolve this tonight, and I think it does. I think I think we've gone as far as we yeah. can go. And well, I think when you see your permitting uh, being done, uh, you know, assuming you were to get these permits and CONCOM approval, um, when would you have those other state regulatory uh, pronouncements in place uh, that would indicate the extent to which there are going to be uh, uh, intrusions on the ten foot zone of the beach? Well, I suppose that depends on how the permitting process proceeds and what happens with appeals, because if the permit is appealed, then the result can be different at the end of that appeal period. 